I think there's a collector's gene that you're born with that either you have it or you don't. And I have it. You know, it starts off with baseball cards and, and uh, marbles and match covers. And I still have the match covers. Keith is obviously the collector. He has the gene and I don't, but he collects for me. My favorite piece is the Kasama piece, that uh, it speaks to me as well as Keith. I've always been fascinated by contemporary and modern art. For me, contemporary art is all about stimulating the mind. It's a place where I could go and it's always evolving, so there's no, well, I've finished that. Linda and I really believe that the Ringling is, is, is a wonderful institution. I, I call it the, uh, uh, the Metropolitan Museum of Art for Sarasota. The community needed a permanent commitment to contemporary and modern art. The gift to the Ringling is just, it's special. It's exciting because it's going to be about giving our entire community the opportunity to really understand contemporary art. And we work for months behind the scenes, especially Veronica Brady working hard with the Mondas to make sure it was a perfect match of the Mondas contemporary art with the Ringling Collection. We put three stakes in the ground. We've provided uh, some space. The Keith and Linda Monda Gallery, uh, we're providing an endowment which will really provide leadership and we're also providing art. The arts transcends economic development, it transcends education, it transcends sports. It's something that everybody can relate to. And we think that the gift that the Mondas are making will only add to that. Already, Keith and Linda's gift is inspiring other gifts to the Ringling. And that's what's really incredible. I mean, that's their goal, is to, to inspire others to create opportunities for all. It's really wonderful to be able to be in the position, to be able to give back to the community. And, you know, we have our own hopes, but also I think that, you know, the, the community will, will will determine what the ultimate uh, success is by their participation. You know, there are no, there are no boundaries. There are, no, there are rules, but the rules always get broken. And so to be able to create an environment that may stimulate um, young people to think outside of the box, so to speak, is pretty powerful.